So our first question is, what is architecture? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is architecture? Uh, I would have to say personally, you, you could have a lot of answers. It could be the play of volumes and light. It could be uh, production of drawings for construction of buildings. For me, architecture is really a cultural practice. It's representing, or not representing is the wrong word, it's bringing into physical form a lot of the values of a culture. It's uh, showing what's contemporary um, in cities. Um, I think architecture is really, for me, a cultural practice. And I try to approach it that way. And in my teaching, I try to motivate the students to be cultural figures who speak in some way for uh, you know, a civic vision and a civic material objects. It can have a lot of scales. It can, have, it can show up in a lot of ways. Um, it's not necessarily only tied to buildings. Um, I'm seeing more and more opportunities for architecture and things other than buildings um, and cities. So, um, but for me anyway, it's primarily a cultural practice. And what can architecture do in this sense? Well, it's funny. I mean, architecture, of course, is, is about designing buildings. I think I've been shocked in the last few years I was at a meeting with a group of Volvo executives from the car company, and they said that they saw the need to have car architects that used to be they had five models of car, and they were getting more and more models, and that they drew a curve, and they realized in a couple of decades, everybody's going to have their own model of car, and that nobody's going to want to design that. So they're going to need architects in their dealerships, and the architects will prepare the documents to send to the factory to make the car. I think more and more you're seeing the skill set of architects being needed for everything from apparel and shoes and things like that. Um, I was just with uh, the, a group of Nike, the Nike leadership, and everyone in the room except for one person was trained as an architect. And they really approach the world, and they're such a digital company because they think of, of the world of athletic equipment like architects. So I think you see architecture exploding more and more as there's a new paradigm for production. You, you see the need for somebody that can design something virtually and send that set of instructions to somebody to make. Well, like I said, I think architecture really is about bringing into the physical world the values of a culture at a particular moment in time. And, and I think um, architecture has always been a little bit ahead of other fields um, in terms of its ability to do that. If you look, just in my lifetime, the deconstructivist architecture show was 10 years before clothing designers and artists started talking about deconstruction. Postmodernism was in architecture long before it was in other things. So I think you see architects having a vision to bring a certain kind of cultural set of values and aesthetics into the world um, first. And I think that's one of the roles for architecture as well. Okay, and how do you position yourself in the discourse of architecture? Huh. Well, this is really not um, very modest of me, but I, I really do just mean it in a very factual way. I think what I'm good at is predicting the future of architecture. Um, I think ever since I was in my 20s, I had the perspicacity to see things coming into architecture from other places and also to just look around at what architects were doing and extrapolate that into the future. So. Um, I think with digital technology, with CNC, um, you know, I, I really see my role in the field uh, less about realizing things, more about pointing in a direction where things 
could be headed or where things are, are inevitably heading. Um, and that's really what I enjoy the most. I mean, I really like collaborating with other fields, being involved with academia, being involved with exhibitions and publications, and um, you know, figuring out what the future of the field might be in, in the most positive sense. Um, so I, I try to be always looking ahead and being optimistic um, and a little bit proselytizing about where I think things should be going. So you don't have like um, a name for your position or do you feel like part of a style or something? No, I mean, I mean I, yeah, sure, I have a style. It's Greg Lynn style. <laughs> I don't really feel like... Um, uh, I, I, I think that idea of movements and styles is probably not what's absolutely central right now. Um, I mean, I think there's been such a strong and strange reaction to form and um, I would even say architectural quality that, um, that, you know, it's really pretty forbidden to talk right now about style and, and generation that way. And last question, uh, what is your preferred design method? Hmm. Well, we just, uh, for whatever reason, there's a, a group of exhibitions happening in California right now that's sponsored by the Getty. And we've been sending a bunch of stuff out for exhibitions and seeing it in relation to other architects' work. And what I realize is I tend to do a lot of very large models. I think it's because I've had a CNC mill for now, I think it's been... It's at least 17 or 18 years in the office and a laser cutter and the, that allows us to work pretty big um, and I just realized I walked into this show at MoCA and all of my models are three times the scale of everybody else's models so I think I tend to work large um, I'm very interested in the interior volume of buildings. I think I've always really focused more on internal space than external form. So, I mean, with the Korean church and the Bloom House and these things, they were really about making a big volume or some kind of a interior quality. So, I think that's why I like to work big, because I like to get inside models rather than um, look at them for their kind of urban massing or something. And then, obviously, I work digitally. I mean, I personally... Um, you know, sketch on the computer and model on the computer. And I think natively I, I like to work in a digital way, which doesn't preclude other things, but we tend to work a lot in 3D digitally very early and then go to very large models also pretty early.